Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and in this session we'll see a very elegant plot which you can see on the screen that is called as rain cloud plot and this plot is used to show distribution as density plot, half density plot along with that box plot also to show five point summary and distribution of the points also that is raw data. This is a very elegant plot to show distribution and to compare distribution of different categories in a categorical data. And uh, for that we will import our data. I am setting my working directory and that set wd function will be used along with these inverted quotes. I will go to the directory where my data is there and my data is there in this rworks folder. I will click in the path copy the path, bring that path to my R studio, paste that there and make it a double slash that will set my working directory and this is my working directory now. Now from this directory I will uh, read the file and my file is xlsx file therefore I will use that read excel package to have the read xls function and library I have imported. If you have not installed this package, you can go to tools and install packages by typing the package name here and select the package from the drop down list and click install. Package will get installed. And I will import my data into object called as df using the read xlsx function. My file is xlsx file and I will just go to that rworks folder and this is my file name. I will right click the file name and then click rename. The file name will get selected. Copy that file name and bring that to RStudio. And after that put the extension using dot. Dot xlsx is the correct extension. And I will run this line. My file got imported. I will see the file head df. Now, as you can see that this is a wide table and wide table is difficult to analyze. I will convert that to long table using functions from package tidier and for that I will call this library tidier, run that and df long I will get here. I have shown that in my previous lecture also but in each of my video, I want my video to be self content. Therefore, I uh, repeat that again and here we are going to pipe this data frame df into pivot longer function of tidier pivot longer function and that function first argument is data this data is coming from this uh, data frame and uh, first argument calls is equal to those 1 to 13 columns because our data frame contain 13 columns if we see here deem df the 13 columns are there 1 to 13 columns I want to collapse and names of those columns will go to the students because these are the readings taken by these different students Bhakti Sarvesh and these are names of my students comma values to values will go to I will just bring that to new line just by pr pressing enter after this and values in inverted quote will go to volume the space I will remove and will run that and we'll see if the change has taken place or not dim df dimensions because we have 13 observations uh, 10 observations in 13 columns therefore that dm shall become uh, 130 rows and two columns dm df long run that 130 columns that our uh, pivoting has worked head also df we can see uh, not df df long and here we can see that two columns are there now this we will use to plot uh, that rain cloud plot this rain cloud cloud plot and for that rain cloud plot will require library gg rain and this library provides us that ggren geome and if you are not installed this library ggren just go to tools install packages and type in ggren there a very uh, easy to use interface is provided by this ggren install the package 
and then run this library ggrent uh, command and the functions will be there in the memory <coughs> now just start ggplot and uh, that data if required you may require this ggplot2 library also call that ggplot2 also and then start the ggplot function type in your data name df long then aesthetic mapping aes and here aesthetic mapping s x axis will be students and y axis will be volume plus geom rain geom rain and that's it your rain cloud plot similar to this will be ready we'll run that and the rain cloud plot is there 13 students are there and uh, this uh, different distributions can be seen but the 13 categories are making this plot little crowded we can zoom that and we can uh, appreciate the plot all the names are there and uh, the distributions are there just we'll add a little to that we'll fill that as per student so that our plot will become more colorful that's not required but still i will do that and plot has color this legend we don't require because names are there on the x-axis therefore we'll remove that legend using the theme first we'll apply the black and white theme and then we'll use theme and uh, legend dot position we want to set and that in inverted code will put none for not having the legend these names also we can resolve uh, in the theme only uh, that axis dot text dot x it is element text we want to play with i'll just bring this to new line so that it will be visible in the screen element text and that element text I will write there angle is equal to 45 and run that and now my plot is there but these names are not looking good therefore I will use edges to adjust their horizontal adjustment and that also in the uh, element text only and edges is equal to 1 I will run that and now elements uh, that text uh, student names got aligned properly and when we zoom that we can appreciate that uh, raw data also along with raw data we can see the uh, box plot also and the local distribution in the form of violin plot or half violin plot and this is uh, the alternative of using or uh, combining different geomes ggren itself combines these three geomes geom scatter geom box plot and geom half violin together to provide us this elegant plot and this is a ggplot you can customize it as we customize any ggplot and that's all for this session if you have liked this video please click the like button please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet because uh, the subscription will add to my motivation if you have any issue or any comments please comment those in the comment section i will try to answer those comments and subscribe to my channel please click like button and thanks for watching